So the Halo MCC flight has just dropped for us guys and I want to showcase the new customization and a brand new customization we've never had before within a Halo game. So stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand the, all the details. So guys, 343 just like straight up shadow dropped the flight for season eight of the MCC. And I know the big talk within the community is the customization. And in this video, we're gonna showcase what it all looks like in game. And trust me guys, this looks quite amazing. As well as some new poses you can do within the MCC as well. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this and it really does help out the channel. If you wanna stay updated with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here because this looks absolutely freaking incredible by the way with this new customization so i wanted to showcase this all to you guys today oh hi did you did you happen to notice my spartan right here oh yeah he was he, yeah, he's looking he's looking pretty good doesn't he should have ghost rider right now in the mcc me playing mcc like look into my eyes so let's go over all the customization right here for you guys and showcase all the new stuff in Halo Reach and Halo 3 and some of the new poses as well. So you actually get a full look at all of the helmets that are going to be involved with this. Let me turn off the uh, flaming chest piece here, guys, so you kind of get a better look at what's actually going on here. So I know we've already seen all these helmets right here for the most part, but this time you actually get a chance to see what they look like in game. And yeah, they're pretty freaking awesome. They're really outlandish, part of this cool new like fracture kind of multiverse almost kind of thing that they're kind of just playing around with MCC season eight. And honestly, like, these armor sets just look so good right here. I'm very happy about these. I can't wait to shoot some Lokis within the multiplayer of the MCC. But let's check out what else they have to offer because we had this teased. We have a few new visors as well, like Mall Madness right here, which just looks super cool. Dot Product right here, which is like the dot that you see within the AIs of Halo Reach, which is pretty cool. Umbral Cold, which again, just a really cool one. And Astral Heat, which looks like you have literal flames coming out of your eyes. Here we can kind of scroll through some of the new shoulder pieces like you have a freaking bat wing right now coming into the MCC for customization. This stuff is just so cool looking. I kind of wanted to make a video talking about this as well when it comes to why I think a lot of people like this customization more than what we have for like the Halo Online stuff. But this stuff again, here's some of the chest pieces, just absolutely incredible work by 343. Like it has like ribs on this, like you're a freaking necromancer playing Halo. Like this thing is so freaking cool. Here's some of the gauntlet choices. I didn't see this, but you have literal like Wolverine, like freaking hand knives coming out of your gauntlets right here. So you can basically, well, can you one tap punch people? Probably not obviously because it's customization, but that would be pretty insane, right? But this stuff is just amazing guys. I'm gonna sound like a broken record right here because I'm just gonna keep repeating this. Look, you have like wolf toes for your freaking Spartan here. It's just insane. You have like, look at look at the addition of like the wolves and the lions right there on your uh, shin guards. It's just amazing stuff that 343 put together on this one. We have new back accessories. As you can see, obviously we have the Cortana, but check out, you have a freaking legendary shield on your Spartan. How freaking cool is that? And you have like a maze, and like all these insane cool additions right here, guys. Like, look at that. That's so cool. I did not expect to see anything like this when it comes to season eight of the MCC. Look, like, you have a freaking trident. You can be a god of the sea <laughs> in Halo 3 now. It's just so cool. Or if you want to bust out your Legolas and, you know, have a awesome bow on your Spartan, you can do that too. You have a chainmail undersuit as well. I don't know if it comes through in the video super well. I might zoom in right here so you guys can see it better. But again, like, look at this. You have a dragon scale one as well. And a lattice weave on top of that, like going full medieval on the undercoating as well. But all this customization greatness is not just held to Halo 3. Halo Reach is also getting these new helmets as well. Not the body pieces, but the new helmets as well, as you can see right here. And also, of course, you have your different variations of these helmets, but really awesome to see these additions coming in to Halo Reach. I mean, look at that. That looks like a straight up Seahawks Spartan right there. And I'm from Seattle, so I'm all for that. So remember how I was talking about poses within the MCC? Well, that looks to be a brand new thing. Right here under personalization, you can choose pose right here. You have at ease, crossed arm, aim high. Drill instructor, kneel, alpha horizon, meditation, peace, salute. 
steel tree, like all these really cool poses you can utilize. Like you can you can even have the pose from the Halo Infinite's original art piece, like right there. That's so cool. Like look at all these different poses, man. Like this is a really exciting stuff. And we see those poses right here in C. You can see that the uh, animation looks a little janky with those shoulders and that kind of pose. But hey, you know, if it works, it works kind of thing. But it's all kind of the same stuff, but it's in C as well. So great to see all this extra customization coming to Halo. I am all for this. Though it does look like some of the vehicle and weapon customization is not transferring over to CE when it comes to some of the skins. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what do poses do? Well, let's take a look at that. Now this was posted directly on the Halo support site, so it comes from the source themselves. And it says, sparring post-match pose screen at the end of a Halo 1 or Halo 3 match, the top three players will be shown and use their pose chosen poses in their customization menu. So much like we have right now with comes to Halo Infinite, we're kind of getting the same thing, but with MCC right now. Obviously we did not have this customization within Halo Infinite, but I would assume probably later on down the line, probably within these flights, we would certainly get something very similar. But we also have some new gear when it comes to weapon skins and vehicle skins. So let's just jump right into that one as well, because I'm sure you guys are very curious what kind of skins are gonna be involved with your weapons within MCC season eight. So let's just go right down the line. We got the battle rifle right here. We have the scorned fate, which looks kind of like a cool, like rusty kind of version of the battle rifle right here. That's really cool looking. It kind of reminds me a lot of like Fallout in some capacity right there. We have Vexing Tomorrow, which I mean, this is just looks sharp. It has a bit of a rust look, rustic kind of look to it as well. That is a real nice battle rifle skin. And very similar with most of the skins within the MCC, we have the repeat of that right here with the sniper rifle, rocket launcher as well, the assault rifle, nothing for the Magnum in this flight. We got the SMG, nothing for the SMG, nothing for the flamethrower, nothing for the fuel rod. What about the needler? Nothing for the needler. Plasma pistol? Nope. Plasma rifle? Nope. Covenant carbine? Nope. Or energy sword? No new additions there either. For the Warhog, we do have the Gilded Lion, which this looks just like extravagant AF on this thing, but this is, might be like one of my newer vehicle skins I'm gonna rock with. But by the way, within Halo 3 and I believe also with CE, you'll be able to utilize your custom skins as well when it comes to the vehicles within the Master Chief collection. Here we got one for the Scorpion tank as well. You look at that nice little golden rope kind of effect with this one. Like this is just extra AF and I love it right now. We have an extra new one for the Hornet as well. Usually we don't get a lot of Hornet skins, but this one, again, here's the Gilded Lion. And for the Mongoose, we also have it as well, which looks very awesome. Now if you check out some of the nameplates, they are currently locked right now, but you can kind of get an idea of what some of these look like. We saw these, some, some of these within the cannon fodder, those recent release, but some of the animated ones look amazing. Like the Spartan flag one that's flapping in the wind, amazing. Battle axe right here, this really cool rotating sword, a flaming shield kind of thing. Again, like all just looks amazing, amazing stuff, honestly. Like I can't help but just say like all of this looks absolutely incredible and I just can't wait to get my hands on it in the full season. And that's not the only thing that's been currently revealed right now within the new flight is that the new campaign collectibles that were going to be put into Halo 3 have been mentioned on the site saying golden MOA statues have begun appearing in Halo 3 missions. These can be collected by shooting them and they are tied to challenges as well. Now I would showcase you said challenges, but right now uh, at the time of recording this, I am not able to access any of the challenges because the servers are not live quite yet. But trust me, as soon as those servers do go live, I guarantee I'll be looking for these challenges as well, try to figure out where they are and also try to play some of the new content as well. This is a big update for MCC. It's gonna take multiple videos, so I will be releasing those on my channel as soon as possible. So if you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got all my Halo news videos right there for you guys to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.